Hi. Okay, so I think I kind of fucked up with my last video. I think that, um... The, it's not that I'm... I felt like maybe I misdirected a lot of people with the last time that I wanted to say that uh, I don't want to talk about my eating disorder anymore. And then I kind of realized that sucks too because the entire purpose of this channel was like I felt like we were being silenced. And then it's like in the end, I'm just going to give up and let everybody silence me. Like, um, that sucks too. And uh, it was... It's, like, it is nerve-wracking to come here and know that you're going to make a video for fucking 700-plus people. And it's really nerve-wracking to make broad statements about intensely and personal and intensely personal subjects. Like, I just, I thought that I'd be a little blip in the eating disorder community, and then that fucking Shanny video blew up. Um... And I kind of started to notice years back, back whenever I first shaved my head, that like I started trying to take being a role model more seriously, especially because like all these fucking like 13, 14, 15 year old girls would come up to me and be like, you are goals. I'd be like, fuck off, you little shit. I'm trying to buy drugs. But um, then I started to think about my YouTube channel, like, wow, I should monetize that shit. Like, because uh, like, I dress a certain way and I know that like, teenagers are going to try to emulate me and um that's that's very nerve-wracking but at the same time I don't I don't necessarily think that I should be scared into silence because if I just stop talking about it and my eating disorders aren't going to go away. They've seriously, like, this isn't a new phenomenon. This did not start with Vogue. Like, this didn't start with, um, this has, Franz Kafka had an eating disorder. Like, I've said that several times on my channel. Like, but he's, like, one of my ultimate examples. But Lord Byron did as well. I think it was Lord Byron. No, it was Oscar. I want to say it was Lord Byron. I don't think it was Oscar Wilde. I think it, Lord Byron was also... Rumored to have suffered from one, uh, Queen Anne Boleyn, the fasting girls back in Victorian times. Like, they, they, like this, it's as old as people have been eating. Um, yeah, some people struggle with their sleep, some people struggle with their food, some people, like, I'm, it's always been a thing throughout history. Uh, it's blown way out of proportion for a lot of very profound multifaceted issues and um, I honestly think it has a lot more to do with like I don't know fucking autism and stuff because I mean when you think about it like the fixation on the numbers the uh, uh, depending on a routine every day um, the black and white mindset, like, there's just, like, so many little variables, like, it all makes sense, um, so we're not going to cure this kind of a problem by simply saying, oh my god, Eugenia Cooney started and ended eating disorders, and if we ban her, that's gonna fix all the eating, like, that's just stupid, that's a stupid way to think, like, just straight up, um, you, there's no band-aid for problems like these, you know, and I don't think that it's fair to scare me and everybody else into, like, not talking about it anymore, like, a lot of people on here, or even commenting that I was like recovered and stuff. Just and like all you have to do to make people think that you're doing okay is put on makeup and not talk about your problems. And what sucks is it seems like your options are to like either completely hide it and lie about everything in your life or um, 
to hide it and lie about everything in your life under the guise of I'm a recovery channel and um, to lie to yourself and to your followers and um, act like you have all the answers in the entire world and know exactly how to cure your eating disorder. And, um, you could be one of those guys or just like never talk about it again and make it vanish and then everybody like people are so easy to fool and they are so easy to um like even whenever i'm not trying to hide it and like there's there's nothing worse than somebody coming up to you after you've gotten really fat and being like oh my god you look so much better oh my god i'm so glad it's all gone now and i'm or if, like, I'm glad you're eating, or uh, I'm so glad to see you eat. No, motherfucker. Like, that's, that's irritating, and I, I, sometimes whenever I say that things are irritating, people come on here like, well, why does that bother you? Why does it bother you to pe that? Like, in my head, I don't think that some people understand that healthy equals fat, to me like if somebody tells me that I look like I'm healthy it goes through a filter in my brain and I'm like I got fucking fat now I know asshole or if some like oh my god at, at work everybody is like damn girl you thick and I'm like like I know I know my ass is fat I know I and I, I have to accentuate it for chips and it sucks and stuff like that can just fucking kill you whenever you go through your life like this and it's not even something that I wouldn't even say I could control like I logically know that everybody who's calling my ass fat thinks that they're giving me the biggest compliment ever but it's not um and I feel like people are essentially told um you basically just have to act like everybody else and then that would make this like every other channel this would make this like i i feel i feel like having people in my comments telling me that i'm super honest and that i'm kicking ass at recovery at the same time is a lie i mean i have an eating disorder and I love my eating disorder. Um, I love it so much that I'm scared it's going to leave me. And um, I do, I protect it. And um, I felt like hiding it away was part of what I had to do to protect it. And uh, it makes it really hard to be honest whenever, like, the nature of my problem is so deceitful. But, I, I don't know, you, you put a bunch of other variables on this account. And I do want to be as raw and honest as I possibly can. But, I don't want, I don't want people to, like, worry. And I don't want anyone like I don't want anyone wanting to help me and worried about me and stuff like that and I don't I just want it to be respected I think I think that's um the end goal I've always kind of had of being like hey I'm crazy like you just straight up um I just it is what it is it's who I am and if you can't deal with it fuck off um I don't know. I don't know if I'll make another eating. Like, I might never decide to talk about it again. And I might, like, talk about... Like, th this channel is a lot more than an eating disorder channel. I do want to take this into, like, a bigger direction. I really do like talking about, like, Jesus stuff and uh, doing my songs and stuff more than I like talking about my eating disorder. But at the same time, I don't want to tell people that I'm like some bullshit recovery warrior because I mean that ain't that's that's not my brand either. Mm -hmm. I 
think that that's all I have to say. Uh, all right, bye.